Hello everyone. Welcome to MS App Tip Webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to install SSL certificate for Windows Admin Center in Windows Server 2019. For this demo, we are using the test lab created in VirtualBox. We have two Windows Server 2019 virtual machines. This is our domain controller named ws2k19-dc01 for my local domain. Already I have installed and configured Active Directory Certificate Services on this server. So basically our domain controller is also acting as an Enterprise Root Certification Authority in our test environment. This is our member server with the host name ws2k19-srv01. This member server is part of our Active Directory domain Malware Local. In the last video, we have installed Windows Admin Center on this a member server. And let's access Windows Admin Center web interface on our domain controller. So I'm going to open Microsoft Edge web browser on my domain controller. Let's access Windows Admin Center web interface. Let's type the URL as a DPS colon double slash and then we need to specify the FQDN of our member server which is ws2k19-srv01.mal.local in our case. Let's paste here and let's press enter key to access Windows Admin Center web interface. And here we can see we are getting warning that your connection isn't private. Uh, why? Because the certificate which we have configured on our Windows Admin Center web interface is a self-signed certificate. Uh, let's click on advance and click on continue to the website. It will ask us for the username and password. Let's uh, provide two main admins username and password to access Windows Admin Center web interface. Uh, let me click on not secure. And... Uh, Click here and click on certificate to see the certificate. And as you can see, the certificate is not trusted. Why? Because this is a self-signed certificate issued to Windows Admin Center and issued by Windows Admin Center itself. And that's why we are getting error that this certificate or this site is not a secure. So instead of self-signed certificate, we want to install an SSL certificate issued by our local enterprise root certification authority. You can obtain an SSL certificate from the public certification authority as well. But in this video, I'm going to use local enterprise root certification authority to get an SSL certificate for Windows Admin Center web interface. Uh, let me close it. Again, I want to remind you that by default, the installation wizard will create a self-signed certificate for Windows Admin Center web interface. And as per your requirement, you can change it and install an SSL certificate of your choice on it. There are two ways to do it. First, you can rerun the installer and select repair option to change the certificate thumbprint. Or you can use add and remove programs from control panel to repair the Windows Admin Center and change the certificate thumbprint. Let's go to our member server. Let's uh, access add and remove programs. And for that, I'm going to type uh, shortcut appwiz.cpl. Okay, let's select Windows Admin Center and then you need to click on change. See, I'm using the second method because already in the last video, we have used the first option, which is rerun the installer. Uh, I'm going to click on next. And here I'm going to click on change. Uh, here we can see this is the current SSL certificate, which is from self-signed certificate. Fine. Uh, let's open MMC console. Let's click on file and select add and remove snap-ins. Select certificates. Click add. Click on computer account. Click next and finish. So you want to access the certificate stored for local computer account. And under personals, you can verify these are the two certificates which are created by Windows Admin Center installer. Now I'm going to request for computer certificate from our local certification authority. For that, I'm going to right click on a free area, click on all tasks and select request new certificate. 
click next next again and let's select computer certificate and click on enroll okay and let's click on finish we have one more certificate which is issued by a local enterprise root certification authority and the certificate is issued to ws2k19 having a service 01.malib.local let's double click on the certificate fine uh, let's click on details because we need to copy the thumbprint of this certificate let's click on thumbprint and now i'm going to copy this uh, key uh, we are not able to right click on it and select copy so from my keyboard i'm going to press key combination ctrl c to copy the thumbprint let me click on ok and let's minimize this mmc console as you can see the options is already selected use an ssl certificate install on this computer and instead of this old thumbprint now we need to paste the thumbprint which we have copied from uh, this uh, certificate fine Let's paste here. Okay, again, I want to match that this is a thumbprint which we wanted. Uh, let, me click, let me click on details. And okay, it is starting with 8055. Let's check there. Okay, this is the same one. Fine. Now I'm going to click on change. Let's wait for a few seconds to apply the changes. Okay, let's click on finish to close the wizard. Okay, and let me minimize it. Let's go back to our domain controller. Let's uh, open Microsoft Edge web browser. And let's again try to access the Windows Admin Center web interface. The URL is going to be https colon double slash ws2k19 have an srv01.mylbootlocal. And this time we are not able to see any certificate related error. Why? Because we have successfully obtained an SSL certificate from a local enterprise root certification authority and we have installed it on our member server and we have linked that certificate to Windows Admin Center web interface. Let's provide the username administrator. Let's enter the password and click on OK. Uh, we are more interested in certificate, so I'm going to click on this lock. Connection is secure. Let's click on it and click on the certificate. And here we can see the certificate. Uh, the certificate is issued to WS2K19 have an srv local. And this certificate is issued by a local enterprise root certification authority, mylab ws 2 k 19 dc ca In this video, we have seen the steps to obtain an SSL certificate from local certification authority and install that SSL certificate for Windows Admin Center web interface in Windows Server 2019. That concludes the video on how to install SSL certificate for Windows Admin Center.